and the final leg of his two-wheel tour of Lincolnshire proves, well, you just can't keep an old teddy boy down. Here he is in Spalding and Skegness for the last of his Lincolnshire diaries. I really have been cycling quite hard over the last few weeks. And when you think of New York, thoughts surely turn to entertainment, Broadway, the Big Apple. And in a sense, I'm on my way to the Lincolnshire equivalent. I'm heading for a village just outside of Spalding, which has a rather eccentric tourist attraction, which draws thousands of visitors each year. And the setting, a lovely place called Waplode St. Catherine. This is a true story of how one man's hobby took over his house, his marriage and his life. It started with a single music box, no more than a private eccentricity for a former policeman. Really in the museum we now cover everything from music boxes to fairground organs, church organs to cinema organs, the theatre. We've over 20,078s in the archives, just to give you something to think about, and over 10,000 photographs of fairground rides and equipment going back to the 1850s. Uh, it sort of got out of hand. <laughs> One that attracts all the public today, of course, is the very latest thing, which is this huge dance organ. It's 24 foot across, 10 foot high, and a complete automated orchestra. The public love it. This could put all bands out of business, couldn't it? Oh, yes, it doesn't go on strike, it doesn't get drunk, <laughs> and it doesn't need paying. <laughs> Sounds a bit like a Look North presenter, that, doesn't it? Well, I've moved to the coast now, Skegness, Lincolnshire's premier resort, famous for bowls. A load of them. And here, you'll find one of the masters of the wooden sphere, 90-year-old Herbert Smith. Why, why do you like Skegness? Tell me. Well, see, I came here in 1947, and I've played 46 consecutive bowling tournaments a year. <laughs> 46. It's a record nobody will ever beat. <laughs> you still enjoy yourself, though, don't you? Oh, uh, I've seen three men die on a bowling green. <laughs> That's bad, isn't it? My partner died here. Bill... Uh... Oh, I can't remember his name. Then. Bill... Bill somebody. To, to happier stories now, I mean, you, you, you've obviously... It's just a healthy sport as well, isn't it? It's a healthy sport generally, though. Oh, yes, I... It's the best sport anybody can wish to have. It's bowls. Skegness is so bracing, or so its own advert says, it seems to be too much for some people. But it does provide the holidaymaker with the appeal of the traditional resort. And plenty of space for those who bring the hoover with them. But there is also plenty to do and see. One of Britain's best-loved comedians will see to that.
I think Skeggy, it's a marvellous, wonderful family resort, you know. Wonderful family resort, and there's all those miles and miles of sand. Did you know that Skegness is the centre of the British egg timer industry? <laughs> yes, people come here, it's a family place. People come here without families and leave with families. <laughs> it's the sand hills, you know, <laughs> and, and the fresh air. The air's very, the air's is very bracing, very bracing. Last time I was here, I had my teeth fixed. I didn't mean to, but I spoke out of town in a pub on the prom. <laughs> <laughs> Is the trade difficult these days? I mean, do you find when you come to a resort like Skegness, it's harder than it used to be? To be truthful, we are in a recession. There's no two ways about it. Although I did hear on the television news the other night one of the politicians say, we are not in a recession, we're not having a recession. We are having one of the worst boom years we've ever had. But there is, I think there is a, a slacking off of business. Uh, having said that, a lot of people are staying home this year, coming to, uh, staying, having holidays in Britain. Foreigners don't come to Skegness, that's for sure. It's mostly British people, because we're the only ones who know how to put the deck chairs up. <laughs> Skegness has also become an annual pilgrimage for fans of rock and roll. Once a year, for a weekend, those who hanker for the days of the Teddy Boys can walk around the town inconspicuously. There's something about rock and roll music that everyone here has a great love for and it's an everyday thing to them. It's, it's the walk of life. It's not something that we dress up for at weekends or special occasions. We actually live this life. One, two. is about three weeks old, uh, she's in a pram, and the oldest, let's just say, in the 60s. They're boisterous, they have fun, like everyone else does when they go out, but uh, they enjoy the music, and it is great music. Well, that's just about it then for our Lincolnshire Diary. Hope you've enjoyed it. I am allowed one real luxury, to go back to Leeds in style. Home run. Right. Come on, horse, let's roll along. Very goes the... Garbra.